According to my survey that you guys took on March 22nd of this year, all of you have thought about time travel in one way or another. Now, 63% of you thought time travel was an interesting concept. 27% of you thought it was dangerous, and only 0.09% of you thought it was dangerous, or thought it was possible. Now let's say to that 0.09% that it was possible. I believe that it is an interesting concept, so those 63% correct. And in the show Doctor Who, it is certainly dangerous. Mm -hmm. Now this is an amazing show that has been running for 37 seasons and is still going strong today. And it has shown history and the future in amazing and sometimes scary lights. And through my literal years of watching the show and the research that I have done, I will show this amazing world with a time-traveling alien that has a weird dress sense and a quirky personality, but has a great message. And I'll show you this by telling you the background of the show, the history involving Doctor Who, women and the LGBTQ communities, and inspiration from the show. So firstly, the background. The show began in 1968 and ran for 21 years until 1989, until it was canceled. There was a few times where they tried to reboot it, but they were unsuccessful. But then it began again in 2005 and is still current to this day. The show hosts a time traveling alien that has two hearts and has the ability to regenerate his body, meaning he doesn't have to rely on his body for physical mortality, which means he can also change himself from look to look and also from male to female. And when it comes to the regeneration, that means that this one character can be played by 14 actors. That is why it's been able to go for 37 seasons. The Doctor has going going on these amazing, mortally dangerous trips with companions and it is total ride throughout each episode. Now, at, now on to the meat of the speech. When it comes to time travel, you're going to be dealing with history to some degree. And Doctor Who and history have been entangled since the very beginning of the show. This is a picture of Rosa Parks. I didn't know a whole lot of the specifics about Rosa Parks, but when I found the information on Scholastic titled The Story of Rosa Parks by Lloyd Frank, on December 1st, 1955, she was on the Montgomery bus when it became full. The bus driver told, commanded her even to move her seat in order so that a white man could take it. She absolutely refused and was sent to jail for this simple task of not moving. Doctor Who gave her a voice on TV for everyone to see. For civil rights, the very beginning of civil rights, to be put out there for everyone. Secondly, there are a lot of people out there in the universe in this show, and the show has done a great job in moving the world forward in order to have everyone accepted and have equality, and more specifically for women and people of the LGBTQ communities. And they do this on the show through the companions and as well as the doctor himself slash herself. Mm -hmm. This is Jodie Whittaker. She is the current Doctor of Doctor Who, and she is the first female role for the Doctor, and is a very strong supporter of women's rights. When it comes to the companions, almost all of them are female, except for a very, few, very select few. And without them, I can guarantee you that without them, the Doctor would be dead at this point in time. There's been even been episodes where that has happened, and this is all of the. Um, when it comes to the LGBT community, there are two that stand out. Captain Jack Harkness on the right and Bill Potts, sorry, Captain Jack on the left, Bill Potts on the right. Captain Jack is played by John Borrowman, both of which, his character and himself, are pansexual. With Bill Potts being played by Pearl Mackey, is the first openly gay companion um, on the show. And finally, the show is an inspiration. This is Peter Capaldi here. He is the 12th Doctor, and David Tennant um, as the 10th Doctor. As kids, they both got in trouble at school repeatedly 
for writing fan fiction about the show. Uh, Peter, Peter Capaldi even wrote in articles to the newspaper in order to get his, his part in the show. And finally, me. It is an inspiration for me. So I can come up here and talk proudly about the show that I love as a 14 year old to dress up in, as in Halloween. That is not the best day, picture ever taken of me. <laughs> <clears throat> this is an amazing show that has been running for 37 seasons and is still going. As a show in, it is a show in history and the future is amazing in sometimes scary lights. This is a weirdly dressed alien, with quirky personality, much like myself, and a great message. And I have shown you that through the background, the history of the show, and women of the LGBT community, and of the LGBT community, and how it's an inspiration for me and everyone that should watch it. And so, for the 72% of you that took my survey that like to watch a lot of TV, I now know, you now know a show to binge watch for the next 24 days. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> now, I know that's a lot for a show, but with a show like this, um, with its message of acceptance and equality of literally everyone, including all races, sexualities, and even cross-dimensional species, all amongst the stars, the doctor helped them no matter what, and we should follow his lead. To quote, never be cruel and never be cowardly. And that's straight from the show. 